see so. Oh, it's fabulous! A strike to get you up off your feet! Hello and welcome to Seagull Social, Season 4, Episode 9, I believe. I'm not too sure. But anyway, we're in Marseille, boys. We are. We are in and we're Marseille. In real life. And yeah. we're in real life. We're, we're, we're I can, all together. I can touch great. Jack yeah. and you. Yeah. yeah. Um, he's better looking in real life. Yeah, I, I agree with that massively, yeah. obviously. <laughs> um, you're a bit worse for wear today? Yeah, I had a heavy night last night, but you know, you might as well enjoy yourself. Exactly. You're on holiday. You're smoke, but he sounds like he's had 80 bags. <laughs> no, I did. I did. I did. I had a, I had a, I had a cheeky dart. A couple you know, of rogues. Yeah, a couple of, you know, drunk cigarettes. They're always yeah. fun. So, yeah. but yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm but you're all good that. nonetheless. Yeah, 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 all good, all Living safe and dream. sound. Yeah, 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 managed to avoid all the ultras. So love good. it. Yeah, love we it. did. And Ben, yeah. how are yeah, you doing? Absolutely mate? shattered, to be honest. But what what a couple of days it's been. Unbelievable Incredible. experience. Like, it's been yes, yeah, insane. And Marseille, bad rep for what it is, but the city's beautiful. It really is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. had a great time. I want to talk to you about the uh, ex- your experience, like um. in, in general. Let's talk about the, the general experience, just like the first away day. I know I spoke yeah, to you for sport, oh, yeah. but your fir- first away day is a yeah. Brighton fan. I mean, uh, I'll, I'll stop doing teary eyed tales of Dagenham, which I think I've told every single Brighton fan I do I've like it this weekend. Do you know what I really like? Your, your Man United analogy. Oh, oh yeah, like Man United. United says, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, give, give We've it. seen it all. Yeah. But uh, no, I got a train down uh, Wednesday. Uh, took the whole day to get down here. Just sort of took it, took it in a nice stride. Mm, nice. A few lagers, a few yeah. of those. We saw la- it. If you follow Jack on Instagram, then you'd have seen it. It's just constantly like drink in the hand yeah. and then drink down. And when it's empty, just <laughs> don't worry. About, I'll get a really good reel. About a hundred, <laughs> about 180 <laughs> slides on his Instagram yeah. story. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I saw that. I just had that. Yeah. Yeah. I think it looks better when you do yeah, it really quickly. Go, it's like, just like that. <laughs> nice. Um, but uh, no, I had a few of the Lefo blondes. You need to be yeah. careful with those. They're uh, dangerous. Deadly drop they are. Um, <laughs> But uh, not not they're not fruit juice. Um, neither were any of the French beers. So I got the train down. Had four hours in Paris. Had a little sit around. Spoke to a guy in a pub in Paris who spoke to me for about an hour and a half about how much he loves Chris Waddle. Um, who he doesn't? Play, yeah. I mean, who doesn't? Yeah. And about the mullet, he kind of got mullet, mullet. And I said, yeah, 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 that's an hour and a half in broken English. That's yeah, oh, yeah. It was. It was. Luckily, you I was talking about Muller. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> luckily, I was disgustingly drunk. So yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. the whole thing solved the problem. Um, and then got down to Marseille about eight o'clock, <laughs> went to the pub and then it all got a bit hairy. It did. Yeah. Because um, of one individual. Yeah. I think, yeah, you know, some people were giving <laughs> the Marseille ultra, they don't mess around. You mm. know, the ones who I spoke to, Marseille fans have been lovely, but you know, they know, they know what they're doing, these Marseille mm. ultras. Mm. Um, tell them, I'll tell, tell them a story about what yeah, happened, I think. Yeah, go on, yeah, go so on. yeah, one guy, won't be named, but an older gentleman who thought would have been a bit more sensible, obviously had a few more, few drinks, so he had a bit, mm. a bit yeah. of courage, but um, yeah, a guy, a French guy was going past on a moped outside this F pub and he gave him the wanker sign, the English guy did, and then he, yeah, pulled over and was like, you want a problem? We'll give you a problem. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, just from there, he kind of threatened us to bring the mob down and, he, the, the old man that done it left. Yeah, uh, left, straight left, away. Left, right us, away. left us for dead. Yeah. So all the Bright fans are going, right, they're, they're, they're going to come. So a few people left and then more, but everyone came back again and it was mm. fine. But then about an hour later, but after we'd been singing for about half an hour outside, that's when you could like see the ultras in the distance coming yeah. down. The police, the well, it it, it went from 100 ultras yeah. to then like 50 and then it all went down and then we saw videos, it was like 20 yeah. of them. But yeah. yeah, there was a lot of stories of like... But it, it's not it. like, it's, it's, it's nothing like we experienced in England no. at all. No. Anyway, no. you know, I'm used to three dickheads in a Stone Island <laughs> jumper at Rotherham away and like, you know, walking around this game. There's one thing, I'll never be nervous about a single domestic away yeah, game again. Anymore, no, of yeah. course. Um, yeah. No, I went to a different pub and... Uh, Someone threw a banger under a table, which was quite exciting. Oh, um, and then we just went in the pub and the lockers came down. But um, oh, yeah, you, re- you were locked in there for a couple yeah, of hours. Yeah, we were you? in a couple of hours, still serving. Still serving. Oh, beers, great. So. Little lock-in. lock yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. Lock-in. But, um, but yeah, they, they, they don't mess around. And I did yeah. try to say to any Marseille fans... Cause they have people go around on mopeds and take pictures of you. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the scouts. Yeah, 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 I mean, it is. It I saw is, so many of them. It yeah, is no. quite mental. Um, but there's some say ultra somewhere who has like a hundred pictures of me having a pint. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing with all these? <laughs> on pictures? his camera roll. Yeah, like a <laughs> and filming. 
Um, but I spoke to one of the people doing it in my drunken wisdom, yeah. and he was really sound. I had a good mm. chat about the game. We were mm. talking about like a saying a Bamiang is made of sauce. Like, oh, he's a really good player. Mm. This, this, and this. And it's quite interesting. Yeah. So they were nice people. Yeah. I just think I think I think it's all it's all part of the reputation, and the reputation's right. It's, yeah. it's, I was it's, I was about to say like I think it was a lot of scaremongering. First yeah, of all, like oh, like be fearful. Yeah. You know, don't do this, don't do that. But yeah. then, like you said. You have to be careful, yeah. but if you seek out trouble, you you're going to get trouble. Yeah. yeah, and I feel like if you if you're just a normal bloke yeah. going to the football when you just like you said, you just yeah. want to enjoy yourself. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. exactly. That's like, what I don't those fights happened. that everyone saw on social media, like yeah. casual chat and stuff. Those, that was those like, of people that went yeah. looking for it. For yeah. Yeah. That, that exactly. was well, well from what I don't think people really went looking for it, but I think it was people who were just going to stand up for themselves. Right. Um, yeah. And then the other tear, the tear gas incident. I think there was some ultras throwing tear gas. It all got a bit. Mm-hmm. all got a bit hairy so yeah. um, but thankfully yeah. I don't think anything because again there was rumours of stabbing yeah. and stuff oh, yeah, like that which was that wasn't think, true at all no no yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, that would have been on the news <laughs> yeah. but that's what I mean like, about the whole scaremongering like it's just yeah, yeah it felt like but anyway but no, like mm. you said I think it's been incredible mm. incredible yeah. three well however we'll long gloss time. over the uh, violence yeah yeah, yeah. yeah I mean there wasn't much of it it wasn't really it was just it's just I just thought it was amazing and it was it was an amazing experience to experience something like that Yeah, probably not on the good side but it was like crazy yeah um and, it, and it's interesting to see this european culture of football because it is amazing I was, like, I was, it's amazing we're going to get on to obviously with the game but like yeah. they are on a different level, like, on a different level. i cannot explain mm. how yes. incredible like yeah. whoever went to the athens game at home mm. or the, everyone watching mm. listening if you think that was mad or like yeah. impressive I think Marseille was on a hundred times scale. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. Uh, just it was nuts. Mental. We'll, we'll get on to it yeah, with the game yeah. anyway. But well, um, I wanted to tell you a story about obviously Tony Bloom's brother on our Ryanair. Oh like yeah, that. yeah. So yeah, on on the way out, uh, we, we went from Stansted uh, on Ryanair, and this bloke, we, like, so everyone on our flight were like, he looks a bit like Tony Bloom. Mm. So as he's walking past, I just literally went, "Excuse me, mate, uh, are you? Uh, do you ever get told you look like Tony Bloom?" He goes, "Yeah, I do get that quite a lot actually." He goes. I'm actually his brother. <laughs> so we're like, oh, fair yeah, play. And we're, we're like, we're like yeah. why, why are you on the Ryanair yeah. flight? Like, There's no way Tony it. Bloom's brother yeah. would be on a Ryanair yeah. flight. Yeah. So he'd yeah. be like on a private charter all yeah. with a team. Yeah. And he was like, oh, I've actually got a meeting tonight. Well, tell you, did you not see the video of Tony Bloom doing the announcements? Yeah. On the, uh, flight from Heathrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's class. Yeah. That, I just, do you know what, what I love? is like, we're such a family club. Mm. Yeah. Like, it is it's such like, a nice touch. Like, even with the tickets as well, didn't he? Because people were struggling with tickets. Yeah, they delivered some of the tickets. They delivered some of the tickets to the airport. Like, just stuff like that. It's just, it is amazing. And to see like Tony Bloom's brother on our plot. Yeah, was just mad. and I think one of the best things about everybody who I've been speaking to out here, it's been such a good experience yeah. of like speaking to Brighton fans, you oh. know, chatting with them. You know, I've met so many people. Yeah, I've met so many true. people, people who I haven't, you know, seen for ages and stuff like that. And you know, people mm. who you see from like, you know, from back in the Withdean days, like yeah. people who used to sit next to me at the Withdean in the North Stand. You just see everyone, and it's just been. It's just been an amazing experience, yeah. like the whole thing. That, that woman great. you spoke to yesterday uh, yeah. in the square, she had a well-known story, didn't she? Oh, lovely, yeah. yeah. She was talking about how, like, she was from the Goldstone era and now she takes a nine-year-old yeah. son. He was actually, funny enough, in the F-pub yeah, they last, bumped night. Into him last night. She, yeah. she brought her little son in, he's nine years yeah. old, had it, had her on her partner's shoulders, yeah. he was singing seagulls yeah. like, in the pub. Like, Yeah, it's, it's just been, honestly, yeah. like, nothing I could ever imagine, like, going back to your sort of mm. analogies and your, like, nice little, like, you know, one-liners. Mm. It's like, Going from like dagging them all, like, yeah. I, I don't know, forget uh, with Dean, yeah. we won 8 0 against Northridge Victoria. Jake Robinson scored a hat trick. Yeah. Like, just imagine that. Imagine sat there yeah. and thinking, we're going to play yeah. Marseille one, yeah. like, or yeah. Europa League football. Like, it's just insane, but yeah, yeah. um, yeah, incredible. And I'm sure we're going to have some more stories, whatever, going yeah. along. But let's talk about the game. Uh, yeah. and actually, let's talk about actually the, the match they experience as well, yeah. just like leading up to that. I think yeah. that's quite nice, actually. I mean, um, yeah, it's quite mental, wasn't it? Yeah, really? yeah. Um, <laughs> we obviously had a bit of a different experience to you, but let's let's yeah. hear yours and then we'll, we'll yeah, so yeah, yeah, because you were in uh, old media, yeah, we were, were unfortunately, yeah. Bastards. it's embarrassing, that is. Um, <laughs> But no, so yeah, we we had a square sealed off for us. It was quite yeah, nice. Yeah, we, we, we went to The that only year. problem with the square was there was no, there's one bar for the whole square. Yeah. Which was really annoying because no, to- no toilets. No yeah, toilets. No toilets. You had to go in a Burger King. A crappy whatever. little like, box for a DJ. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. And I didn't, I don't remember. I don't think a music act ever yeah. turned up. Yeah. yeah. They just played music out. There's rumours, the wasn't there? Yeah. Slim was going to play. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and then, yeah, so then we got loaded onto buses and did a proper tour around the houses. Like, we went. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah, it took like an hour and a half. Didn't yeah, it? it took like an, it felt like forty minutes to do what was on Google Maps over the fifteen yeah, minute journey. Enjoy. But well, they take you out of the city yeah, yeah, along yeah, the motorway yeah. back in to avoid any. Luckily, yeah. on the way back, we had gone. We kind of gone the quicker route, and it only took about half an hour. Although we were stuck in the car park for about an hour. Yeah, yeah, and we then were it in took the like, car park y
the escort police escort was nuts. Like we had what? So you had a police escort? Yeah, as well. yeah. On the way we, back, on yeah. the way back, we asked. No, no, we we came with the away. We went. Oh, oh right. right, yeah. So yeah, you had like a coach, police van, coach, police van, like for like. Yeah, yeah, twenty twenty. I mean, it, it, like I say, it's something that we've just never experienced, yeah, no. like at the football club, and and I think not to go back to the analogy again, but it is like you know, it's mental. Yeah. Um, what is so, a shame is the fans that were stuck behind for like three to four hours. Yeah, because yeah. I don't know how they messed up the amount of coaches because surely the same amount. Of I think the problem was it was came, the the, the, the coaches got back to the centre and then got stuck in traffic getting back to the stadium. Oh, so it was just like because they're trying to bring them round, yeah. basically. But mm. you know. If we'd lost, it would have been a lot worse. Yeah, so, so much worse. Um, but yeah, so then getting up to the stadium yeah. um, was great. Took ages. It was it was so bizarre, like being shipped in essentially, like with police escort. Mm. Every row was just full of Marseille fans, and when they swear, they sit, they they do like <laughs> hammering <laughs> like that. They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't mess around when yeah. some yeah. of the boys at our coach were saying stuff was getting thrown at the coaches as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. We had a few like. It's part of the fun. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, that was great. Got to the stadium probably about two hours before kickoff. I wanted to get there a bit early. Um, it was sort of the way the the serving hatch for drinks was. I heard about this. Wasn't it literally like a, like it's a window? Like that a big. window about that yeah. big, and you just yeah. have to look through and bring a beer. I heard about. They, I heard about this. Great yeah. to uh, drink in your seats, eh? Oh my god, incredible! Yeah, yeah. yeah. you could well. smoke. You could smoke <laughs> and drink. <laughs> yeah, it was incredible. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, this, um, is, this is heaven. And yeah, yeah, exactly. And and they're they're very good at that. The French, yeah, drink. <laughs> yeah okay. they're, they're world leaders. Yeah, they're very good at actually. Yeah, yeah. Um. So yeah, and uh, but yeah, no. So and you have these like cup holders which are four beers. Lovely. And there's pictures of me with two of them like, walking down. <laughs> well, you're the only concourse. doing it in, in multiples of four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Only drinking multiples of four. Yeah, nice, drink. nice, um, nice. <clears throat> the Stadium is is a little bit of a. Uh, it's very steep. Mm. Yes, yeah, because someone like the Coliseum inside the concourse. Yeah, someone <laughs> probably just after Grace scored, and we were pitching, he just went flying down and like but, just missed me, but dragged like three yeah. people down. <laughs> and, we were like, you know? and he like bent his leg backwards. He looked, oh, or yeah, it, he's oh, fine. I think yeah. the alcohol definitely yeah. soothed the pain. Yeah, yeah. Um, who's, your, who's your mate? You the one with the in the sling? Oh, Tom, oh Tom, yeah. Tom, yeah. He, he, his thumb. he, he <laughs> fucked up his thumb because he said he was smashing again. On his good arm. Oh, yeah. He's, good he's, arm. he's <laughs> broken his thumb on his good arm and he's got his arm in a sling on the other arm. Yeah. 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 So he's got, he's got, he had one good arm and now he's got none. Yeah. Um, um, and it was just like, you know, and when you get in there, you've got the Vissar's Nord, I think it's the Vissar's Nord next to you, which is just like, the topless ultras. Yeah. The yeah. Top, they were yeah, just yeah. like, because there's six yeah. groups of ultras in the Marseille. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, within their group, which yeah. is insane. That's and you mad. can tell when you look around the stadium, you have got like boys in orange, and yeah. you got yeah. yeah all these all the topless lads. And then you got yeah, the West Ham group. flag at the front. Was, was it? it? Yeah, it just said so. uh, Marseille, West Ham United, and had like an iron symbol on it. Really? Weird. That's weird. That's weird. Never seen. So weird maybe they've got like yeah. that Leverkusen and Brighton relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, yeah. So yeah, That's I saw bizarre. that at the front. That was a bit bizarre. Yeah. That was up the other end. Yeah. Not, okay. not where we oh, were. the yeah. Yeah, yeah to the right. Yeah, yeah. They got the like, Marseille Dodgers as well was one of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. nineteen ninety two. Yeah. Yeah. and it's um. But then the thing is, like the the, the atmosphere they make, it's just like you, you can't get songs going no. as an away fan because oh. it's just like doom 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 yeah. doom like that. You've got barely yourselves. Think, let alone well, honestly, yeah. let, let, let's talk about the atmosphere. Um, we'll get into the game, of course, as well. Mm. But that atmosphere was something I've never experienced. Yeah. So, like, so just to give a bit of context to everyone watching and listening, me and Ben obviously were here, obviously, with Brighton fans, like lifelong, uh, yeah. but we were here through work. Um, so we weren't <laughs> in the away end, unfortunately. <laughs> well, yeah, we couldn't, I couldn't get tickets. So we were like, I five seats there. away from the away end, in where we literally, were. Literally, yeah. So, you know, you know, yeah, we were story, literally yeah. right next to. Right next to the away fans. We were literally but, waving at some of the boys we could see in the away and like that, and they were just like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So, basically, so where we were sat, obviously, it was like full of Marseille fans, but you would think where we were it was like be safe per yeah. se. But then there was these two old boys next. So, when we scored the, the equaliser, well, even before uh, that, yeah. every, basically, when we scored both goals, they'd look at us and smile yeah. and like give it yeah. one of those. Yeah. And then we'd obviously do it back and then got to the, the final whistle and just like this guy kept staring at us. It's like this French guy who kept staring at us and he was like, and uh, the boys were like, yeah, he, he looks like he's up for a fight. Like he's been looking like the whole time. Yeah. So we're like, oh, shit. And then he come, comes over to us. Yeah. He goes, are you boys Brighton? And we were like, no, no, no. Yeah, like, yeah. We're just, you know, English we're media. Like, press, yeah, press, 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 press. Yeah. Journalist, journalist. Yeah. Yeah. Journalist, yeah. journalist. Yeah. Yeah. Was it the uh, Stan Collin or video? Yeah. Yeah. Journalist, journalist, journalist. <laughs> so literally we're like, yeah, no, no, no. Like, we're, we're not Brighton. And he goes, yeah. and he goes um, oh, okay. Well, because I'm, I studied uh, in no. I was a teacher in Lansing, yeah, and I lived in, in Shoreham by Sea. Yeah, he lived in Shoreham. He's like, I'm a French Brighton fan. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And we're like, 
So we, so, we yeah, 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 and, then, and then it was great, yeah, because we, because yeah, they were like, shit, he's gonna beat us up, and then mm. yeah, he's just like, I'm a Brighton fan, yeah, but just, I'm yeah, nice, yeah, so, nice. so it was great, yeah. And then we had that little yeah, like little. Yeah. The little sketchiest picture. part was obviously at full time. You got all the Brighton fans behind the cage giving it to the French to the yeah. Marseille fans. And we were right Me and in it. stood with yeah. the Marseille fans that all like throwing stuff at them, like screaming. Stewards having to push us all back. And, and we're there like waving. We're like, we're just going, come on, mate. Yeah, yeah. And then literally, I'll turn the camera. I don't. I don't think yeah. we should be doing this. <laughs> we need to, we need to the We're giving ourselves away massively. The thing is, at the end of the game, there are a lot of uh, Brighton fans. It's all part of it, you know, giving the odd wanker side. Yeah, of course. Well, I, I, was, I, I was walking down the steps and I was very impressed with them. So I thought I'd just like clap them. So I did like a clap like like <laughs> that. And this guy caught eyes with me and I did like that. And I went like that. And he just gave me a throat slit. And, <laughs> and I was like, right, okay. That was my peace negotiations over. Yeah, it went well. Like, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, went, yeah, okay, yeah, mate. Yeah. And I sort, of, I sort of laughed and shrugged and he did smile. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. so I won his heart. Yeah. 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 Mutual yeah. respect yeah. there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, no, honestly, the atmosphere. And then, yeah, when the Jao Pedro penalty, the whistles. Never I don't think I've that. ever heard a yeah. noise. And I, I, I will have to say, like, Brighton fans, like, we're in good voice, but... I'll be honest, until the equaliser, you could just not hear Brighton fans. Like, it was impossible mm. to hear them. Just yeah. because how, like, what I just couldn't comprehend, and it still blows my mind to this day, even though, you know, we've been, we've had, a, we've had Athens and stuff, but mm. they're just relentless. Mm, like, yeah. there's not Non-stop. one, there's not I one second I, of respite. I've watched a bit of European football, I've been to Dortmund and yeah. Leverkusen, and it's very different kind of atmospheres in Europe in that they're very good at just making noise. Yes. They don't really sing songs. Yeah. They just, just make, it's just like, yeah. mm. Constant yeah, whistles, yeah, like, yeah, drums. Yeah. The, yeah. the conductors that are like they're on like a platform mm. that's probably like three mm. people tall, and they're not facing the game. Yeah, they don't watch they the don't game. Watch, one, they don't face the pitch. One second. They're just conducting everyone and going like, yeah. like yeah, and it's insane. Yeah. But yeah. I also feel bad for the people that are stood in front of that platform. Like, what, what are they doing? Like, <laughs> what can they see? Like, it was, I, like looking in the ultras who were next to us, it was like a mosh pit. Yeah, they were moshing like fire yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they were like pyros come out, and he's standing there with the pyro. At one point, there must be like five red pyros in the top. Oh yeah. And I, I said to Maz, I was like, as Lord of the Rings fans, I was like, they literally yeah. looked like orcs. orcs like, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like the de- yeah. They literally looked like demons. It was, yeah. it was nuts. Yeah, but it's and, crazy. The, and the cameras do not do it justice. With no, that yeah. sense to me. Yeah, it's so frustrating. I try to film them so yeah. much. And just, it does Because obviously we're justice. trying to well, capture yeah. content. Yeah. Yeah. And like, when you're in there, you're like, this is just amazing. And you yeah. want to capture the moment, the essence of it. Also, yeah. you want to enjoy it as well. But you want to try, And then like, yeah, like, like you said, we're filming it. It's just like, ah, oh, it doesn't do it justice. Mm. Like what you're yeah. seeing with your eyes just doesn't do it justice. Know, and yeah, uh, yeah. I'll, be, I'll be honest though, the master, I thought it was quite empty actually in the main yeah. stand. I, well, I think the kickoff... But as, as, as the game went on, I felt yeah. like it got fuller. Because uh, kickoff... It was early kickoff, wasn't kickoff it? Kickoff was 6.45 local time. Mm. Yeah. Which is early kickoff for us. Like, if if Brighton even oh, even yeah. with against a huge team like Marseille, it would probably wouldn't sell out at six forty five because they yeah. just can't get yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. I remember forty five our time. Yeah, yeah. So I remember Celtic played in Europe a few years ago and they had a four forty five oh, yeah. kickoff. And loads of people like so many managers will be watching this, wondering like why why is my employee not at work <laughs> watching Celtic Celtic yeah. Legia Warsaw? That reminds me because like, you look at all the ultras and you think them boys like probably some of them probably work Monday to Friday they're like accountants or just like a yeah. normal job yeah. and then they go there they're topless like a- yeah. absolute yeah. animals yeah. it's just yeah. a complete contrast of what their day yeah. yeah. but it's, it's, it's awesome like a lot of respect yeah. to the oh, ultras like incredible. it's 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 intimidating yeah. it's but it is amazing. Yeah. Nah. Like, and also, you're like, in awe of it almost. Like, oh, yeah. I spent, first half. I spent 30% of the match watching yeah, it. Yeah, because I remember, I remember George saying to me, uh, my mate, next week, he was like, you don't even watch the game. I'm, like, yeah. I'm just watching them because they're yeah. just fascinating. Yeah. When they did the bounce. Oh, was, like, incredible. Yeah. It's like the, the Poznan bounce. Yeah, but, yeah. But their own sort of version. But also as well, um, we so we, again, we had like, I suppose the pleasure of, because mm. it's nice to sort of soak it all in. We had the pleasure of actually being with the Marseille fans yeah. before the game as well. So obviously we were at the square with all the Brighton fans and then we went and Caps. Caps captured the, the Marseille. Marseille. And mate, honestly, there was one point where, so there's a guy with a big microphone, you can tell he's like one yeah. of the ultra sort of like yeah. heads. So I went up to him, I was like, can I, can I give me an interview? And he was like, uh, small English, more like not regular yeah. English. I was like, okay, cool. But like, can we film you? And he's like, give me 10 minutes and everyone will come. We're like, okay, cool. Yeah. It's within about two no minutes. No idea what he meant by yeah. that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were like, what do you mean everyone's coming? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do we need to hide? Because yeah. like, prior to that, we had that little kid on the bike came up to him. Oh, and goes, Brighton fans, Brighton fans. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the kid from Manchester, Manchester from in between. Yeah. Like, like, you Brighton, Brighton fans? Brighton. And we're like, no, 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 no. He's like, he's like, and he pretends to like, he's going to shout to everyone that <laughs> yeah. we're Brighton fans. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, so this guy with a big microphone, he's gone. Journalist, journalist. He said that again. Um, so he, yeah, so he, he's, he's got up. So literally, he's 10 minutes has gone out the window. Two minutes
he gets on the thing and just starts doing his things and mate the Everyone's just shouting, yeah. screw, like surrounding me and Maz while yeah. we're trying to film. And we're like, just stood right next to him. No so from where you and me are, we're just stood by him. In just, amongst it. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, quite, it was sketchy, it's it's quite interesting though. I noticed down down to the ones to our right, there was like a little group of um of 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 away f- uh, of home fans. And they all seemed to be kids. And they all had like a megaphone. They oh, were yeah, jumping yeah, yeah. It yeah, was like a I youth group. Yeah, it's unbelievable. They were like, yeah. so they got they seven, were, they seven were the ones that were like scrapping the whole time. Yeah, they yeah, were yeah. like, God, this, they were back. And they, they did like a, it was, it was quite funny. Other. They were doing like a wall of death. They yeah. were like running into each yeah. other. It was very That's exciting insane. to watch. And then they just stop and just all like dancing every day. Yeah, sounds like a death message. Yeah, they look like 40 years old. It's so strange. That's mad. Right, let's talk about the football then, boys. As much as we want to try and avoid it. I mean, yeah. I mean, to be honest, the football, yeah. It took a back seat to it. As they say in the media world, a game of two halves. Yeah. Uh, uh, a game of two halves. Uh, don't want to bring out the cliches, but we will do yeah, for today. But yeah, let, yeah, let's talk about the first half. Um, of course, it was pretty diabolical, oh, yeah. to be honest. Well, it was a funny. Do yeah. you know what? Actually, let, 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 I'll start. And the first ten minutes, I thought we, we looked. I, I went time around to you. I thought first yeah. ten minutes, we can keep it solid in this atmosphere. Just keep it calm yeah. and don't do anything stupid. And Damn we did that. Man. Yeah, we did that. <laughs> but then we had that funny ten minutes where obviously we they could we could see the two quick goals in a minute. I didn't even realize that was like in a minute. Oh, it was it a minute. It's, yeah, it felt like eighty nine longer, seconds but... between the goals. Was it? So, yeah. yeah, I didn't even realize that. I think. No, same. In too the many, same. Too many. Oh, yeah. old I don't even have, I don't <laughs> have that. I don't even have that excuse to be fair. Yeah. But uh, no, yeah. I, honestly, it felt longer to be fair. But yeah, we had that funny sort of like ten minute period where it all went to shit to be honest. Mm. And then yeah, what was the first, oh the first goal was um, what happened in the first? Chanto and Bemba. Oh yeah, fucking hell. Ex, yeah, ex yeah. Newcastle. Yeah, Newcastle. I was a header, yeah. yeah. Ran over was... to Gattuso straight away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking hell, yeah. And that was just poor, wasn't it? Yeah, it's just poor. I think set pieces, we know we've had problems with it. Yeah. Um, weirdly, we look the most like we're going to score from set pieces <laughs> last night, I yeah. thought. I thought we'd bet up the upper I remember Dunkey had one. Yeah, yeah. and I, I can't remember who scored the second goal. Uh, it was... Very uh, two. You're very too, yeah. And oh, you're the ex-Villa bloke. Yeah, yeah, yeah ex-Villa and Ambrose, he's, yeah. he's a really good... You know that football grid game? Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. He'd be good he, he's a good answer. Yeah. 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 The Villa one, that's a great show. We play that's a great show. Time. Olympic Marseille and, and uh, Villa. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Dunkey for that second goal, I think was quite a suspect. Yeah. He missed but the clearance. Yeah, missed that. Did yeah. he fall over? Or he did. He did. Just, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he sort of fell over. But and, think, then, and then Jason Steele was well. Maybe yeah. Yeah. people yeah. I haven't watched the highlights at all. So Jason still got a hand to it. I just think it's disappointing when you get when you get when it's gone through him. Yeah, it looks like it went through. You know, not not to call out any people in particular, but you know, people who were saying Sanchez would have saved that. Um, Yappy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah <go on. laughs> Sanchez had his moments like that. So yeah. I don't, I don't, but you know, we, we all know what Steele's good at and what he's not good at. Yeah. And what well, he's good at is his distribution. And we yeah. all know. Yeah, with his feet, he's good. With we all know that he can be a bit suspect, but what he brings to the team, he still bring, him and Verbruggen still mm-hmm. bring the same But he amount. just conceded six goals against Villa, sure. Yeah. In my head, I was like, I, I thought Verbruggen was a guarantee yeah. to start. On yeah. that, on that. I think you want experience. Yeah, yeah, night, yeah, I guess yeah. So, yeah, and I think um, it, it, it was telling that you know That's if you look point. at a lot of those players, a lot of those players, barring maybe Welbeck and but De Hood, De Hood yeah. will have never played in an atmosphere no, like that. You knew what, I was going to say what, that. What, like. what we, we said literally yesterday, we were like Duncan March has yeah. never been in like <laughs> you know, they've gone from fucking playing at the with Dean and the Abbey <laughs> yeah, to playing in a hostile environment yeah, as yeah. the Stade Vella Drive. But just, just on that, uh, I want to ask you. Do you think, do you like De Zerbi having, you know, he's come out and said, mm. I don't, I don't have a one. I have a one. I, they're both number one. Do you like that? Mm. Uh, I'm a bit torn on it because yeah. I do actually think when it was working, it was working really well. Like, mm. I think the decision. It's all good until it the, doesn't yeah, work. The it decision to say, play Verbruggen in, I think he played Newcastle game, didn't he? Yes. Yes. And the West Ham yeah. game. Yeah. It made sense because he's tall and be more dominant from set pieces mm-hmm. and as, as good as West Ham were. They didn't score any goals from set pieces, so we definitely solved that. Whereas United, we needed still for the distribution. And, you know, mm. his distribution was fantastic at United yeah. and bring it around. So they both have their same, their good aspects. Mm. I just, when I used to play football very briefly, <laughs> I, you know, you want to, you want to have a goalkeeper you can communicate with and you know how it works. And I presume they're both in training. So that's the only mm. worry that I just think it's not settled enough. Yeah. You don't have that same um, spine. It yeah. Can well, have a massive effect. That's exactly what I was going to say. For me personally, mm. I just what I said. What I said for the first ten games, for example, this season, and I get we need rotation. There's, yeah. you know, we need to keep people fit, and I, and I get that. And we've got some injuries as well. Obviously, Purvis mm. out now for a month. Um, for me, I just want that consistency. Yeah. So have the spine for the I first ten games. Have that spine consistent. I think, and then rotate. Yeah. I, but I think the problem is we we know that 
we've got lots of games and we are going to have to rotate. What I'd just like to see is a bit more consistency with the rotation. Mm. So yes. rather than it being, you know, it seems that we've tried every single centre back pairing yeah. across the whole yeah. squad. Yeah. Well, apart from Igor and Dunk. Yeah, apart yeah. from Igor and Dunk. And it's sort of, for me, I'd quite like to see it sort of maybe, maybe a bit more consistent. But, you know, look, Deserby, the football manager, has paid a lot of money to do this. And, yeah. and he's very good. And he's a very good manager. Yeah. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not in the mood where, not in the way that I'm going to doubt him that much. No, but it's, 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 it's some is it frustrating as a fan? It's frustrating and it's sometimes you don't always see why, but he's made plenty of decisions where we've gone, well, why the hell is he playing? And it's paid off. And, it's you know, off. we've yeah. beaten someone. No, no, loads yeah. of goals. And it was like, you know, like when Verbruggen came in for someone else and then we won and it was like, well, you know, that made yeah. sense. Or like, I think Verbruggen had a couple of good games, didn't he, against Newcastle and, and then Man United first came back, yeah. steals and goals. Yes, okay, so, okay, yeah. okay, question on that then. Yeah. Would you as a player be annoyed that, let's say you do have a run of two or three games doing really well and then all of a sudden you're, you're dropped? Well, I think, as, as a player, I guess, you, yeah, think, yeah, you would be. You, you would be. You want to carry on your form and then yeah, yeah. you're dropped and you might lose that form. But, yeah. But that, the modern footballer's got to be used to that now right. because so many teams rotate. Mm, like, yeah. I think it's not just us who are rotating so much. Like, it seems to be that we've, we've gone, football almost has like themes, doesn't it? Like, of, of the ages of oh, how of course, it's come yeah, along. Yeah, you know, yeah. when Mourinho's big, it's all about sitting back, counter attacking yeah. football. Part of the bus. And then when Pep first came over, it's about tick attack. Yeah. And now it's sort of, I think, Gig and press. Yeah, 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 yeah. They call it nice. Nice. And now, yeah. it, now I think we're very much in a sort of age of like sort of a tinker man sort of thing mm. where we've got like, you know, like Guardiola, most annoying manager for FPL yeah. because you put all roulette. these, yeah, in pet roulette, yeah. exactly. So all the best managers rotate their players around. So it's something you've got to be used to, I think. It's because of football. all the games we have to play now. Yeah. Every single yeah. new competition. And that's good. I like it. It's good. No, of course. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, I do agree that it is sort of, you're in a position where it's sort of, you know, it moves around. Mm. You've got to, have an adaptive squad. I think maybe the problem with us a little bit at the moment is maybe we don't have the numbers. Um, I think well, I do you think we've got a squad in depth? Um, yeah, I think I touched teams. on this in last week's yeah, yeah. but um, Yeah, game. but sorry, back to the game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, back to the game. Yeah, 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 we've gone on yeah. a bit of a thing. But no, yeah, back to the game. Let's talk about the Danny Welbeck chart because I know you oh, were quite oh, vocal I was going to just talk about a couple of poor performance performances. But no, we'll do that. We'll do that. But let's do yeah. the, the chances. Danny yeah. Welbeck, Danny Welbeck end, Ansu Fati. Pretty much near the end of the first half, wasn't it? Yeah. Threw on goal. Yeah. Ansu Fati's in so much space. People after game saying, oh, Fati's offside, don't worry about it. He's Saw the picture today and he's very much on the yeah, side. Yeah. I get it's loud and maybe Danny Welbeck didn't hear him giving him the benefit of the doubt but Anthony Fatty surely would have been screaming. I don't think you need to hear someone to be able to look. <laughs> yeah, and also to see it in the corner I'm sure Fatty yeah. would have been screaming at Danny. Well, I think he's pretty pissed off when he after. Yeah, yeah. As soon as Danny, yeah, as soon as Danny fucked it obviously, um, Fatty was lit. Yeah, Fatty, you could I, tell Fatty I think we, him, we said it, it wasn't a squaring thing. I thought he should have just scored. Oh yeah, I mean, he should have won. It's not, it's not, you know, that I, square as a, was a guaranteed yeah. goal. And that as, as a striker, though, you, you, you should finish. Those no, no, agree. Yeah. And and as a striker, you should you should want to because you know Matt Major Matt Moy, yeah. Matt Huckett, you know, <laughs> 180 goals for East Preston. Yeah, our striker expert. <laughs> um, he, oh uh, <laughs> yeah, um, he he said he wouldn't have squared it because. You you back yourself to score yeah, those kind yeah. of goals, and you, as you should do. And I don't yeah. think it's a fair point. I think I think the first half we were just a bit bewildered, mm. and I don't think I don't I'm, I don't almost want to single out bad performances in that because I think we got the point in the end. Mm. Yeah, I, I think it's worth saying that because well, the poor first half let yeah. us down essentially. Yeah, yeah. 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 and but Lam, you know Lamptey got man of the match. I thought yeah. he was quite poor. Really? In the first off, half. Oh, first half. Yeah. Oh, first oh, half. No, no. Second half he was yeah, fantastic. Brilliant. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. First half Matoma was poor. Fast, yeah, but a lot I of them. Matoma's been a bit off it. What? I don't think he's been off it recently because obviously ball no, no, yeah, apart from that, no, no, of course yeah, yeah, that anomaly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's an anomaly. Yeah. I think he looked very tired last night mm. yeah. but he's obviously a very intelligent guy and I did notice that sort of 80 minutes he suddenly started he had like a second wind didn't he? he had like oh, a second yeah. wind so you do wonder whether he'd sort of been told like you've got to play because we need to rotate and all this but if you just chill and then when the moments come, yeah, you need to do it. Because so, he did, he created, he helped create the first goal. Right? Yeah, yeah, first goal and the... He did, yeah. Mm. And, you know, as much as he, you know, he almost got the assist for that. And yeah. that was a great little piece of play. Unreal. Um, to get to get in a position. It was what a finish finish well. Yeah, yeah, yeah what finish. But there was another key moment in the first half. I was half, about though. to say, as he fancies header. That, that, that's, oh, yeah. yeah that God. save from Paolo Lopez. When's he ever done that in his life? It was <laughs> incredible. Because yeah. like, at the time, obviously, when you see it in real, when you see it in real mm. time, mm. I was like, I feel like Anthony Fletcher should have done better. And then I saw the replay on the big screen or wherever mm. I saw it. I think it was at half time, maybe. And uh, yeah, like just the save he's made. It's literally going like in the top yeah. right hand mm. corner. Well, our 
to our right. How he's got a hand. Um, how he's got a hand to that, I don't know. And it, to be fair, it's fantastic. It's a great header. Yes. Such a uh, considering he's quite a little guy in stature. Yeah. I thought he'd done well to get yeah. that on target. And yeah, an incredible save. But yeah, let's go to the second half. Yeah. Um, yeah, talk, let's talk about the first goal. Because we got, when we came out, I was like, we're looking better. Yeah, um, we, look, yeah. and we looked a bit more. I think the zone must have just given an yeah. absolute bollock. Yeah. That's a good time. point, actually. I, I did mention it to you yesterday. Do you think the noise affects the players because they can't hear Deserby because you know we tinker a lot during the game do you reckon yeah do you know it's interesting actually I, mm. they, that, they it's interesting you bring that up there. because when we were when when we were sort of Catuso is very similar mm. and I noticed he was communicating to his players a lot more yeah. and he was basically on the pitch at yeah. times mm. I mean um, another amazing player from history who's you know a bit well, of a bit, bit of a head case yeah, yeah. um and and they both got sent off, didn't they? Last time they, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they got sent. Although off. apparently that was nothing or... personal. That's yeah. what he said. Yeah, they said. Yeah, yeah, it's just business. or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 it's just business. Yeah. Um, and uh, but yeah, I, maybe you're right with the communicating to the players because I thought mm. we did a lot better. It doesn't that work both ways though? Yeah, yeah like, it, it works. It, it just it's looked, not like one manager's got yeah. advantage. Over it did the seem like really frustrating on the touch. Every time there was a take, but I think the first half he was shit. So he's just like, "Fuck's going on?" But yeah, second half, Pascal Gross, fantastic finish, great play by Matoma, like like we mentioned. Yeah, and that just really I think got us into it. And I think after that point. We just look, I always yeah. in control, but confidence. much more comfortable. We look like yeah. the most likely to win it. Yes, hundred yeah. percent. Hundred percent. Very disappointing that we didn't quite get the win. Yeah. Um, and um, the penalty as well. Stone I mean, yeah, 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 went flying into yeah. Lamptey. Lamptey yeah. went flying yeah. over the. Like you said, second half, I thought he's brilliant. Lamptey. Yeah, Lamptey. I thought. Really. Do you know what? I thought well, Joel Veltman. I thought both. both Joel both Veltman, right, right back and left hand. I thought both were fantastic. Like he's putting some crunching tackles. And yeah, he, looked, he, he just looked defensively. Out, didn't he? In the, in he just looked defensively round. really sound, and I think that's what we've been lacking at times recently. Yeah, just like having that, just that assurance of like, oh yeah, he's going to win that tackle, or he's going to make that recovery. Yeah. Uh, like, do you know yeah. what I mean? And, and barring barring Purvis, I think that's our best yes, back four. Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Um, agreed. So, would, yeah, would, yeah. would you, you want to see Lamptey at right back? I think he's been Beltman. doing over Beltman. Possibly. I'd, I'd start but, Beltman and then have Lamptey as like the impact. On but to be honest, Lamptey's right. been doing so well at left. He has. Yeah. You know, we need to stop saying he's a star man. Yeah, that's really right. annoying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's a star man playing down the left. <laughs> His name is Tarek Lamptey yeah. and he's, yeah. He's 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 right. Right. But yeah, no, um, and then, of course, Chow Pedro steps up, ice in his veins. With that, yeah. like we mentioned earlier in the pod, <laughs> the whistles and the sheer amount yeah. like, and do you see as well they were probably getting in his head they were yeah. pushing him like I think, Dun- no, I think Dunkey that, jumped in I like, mean we can really see I w- I did my old turning around spiel yeah, yeah. so I was, I was for anyone who doesn't know yeah. who's watching or listening <laughs> go on Jack well, what did you do so, uh, last penalty I watched Brighton take was uh, Alex McAllister's first penalty Wolves um, away at Wolves mm. And then we got a second penalty. And I, well, I can't bother to watch this and went and got a beer. Never since then, I just don't watch penalties. We yes. have missed some. I haven't watched. Same with my Brett. He never watches them. Yeah, so I just turned, I had to turn I around. That's so like fascinating. <laughs> I watched like, the like, crowd. Yeah. Walk out and it was like, it was, Derby doesn't either, does he? No, no. And it was like the uh, Athens game. I was like, well, I didn't see any. Well, two of, yeah, two, yeah, everybody in the Amex like, tells me to leave now. They like oh, really? push me <laughs> along the row and then get me out. So they know they're like the standard protocol. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. standard protocol. Yeah. So, and it seems to work. So. Amazing. Um, but yeah, he was. And then when he scored, he did all that. Today. Yeah, yeah. But my that, friends yeah. who are watching on TV, shout out Harry, didn't make the trip. Very disappointed. Big guy, yeah, huge guy, lovely, but like, <laughs> um, look, the nicest, yeah, the nicest yeah. bloke I've ever met, actually. Oh, um, what? Yeah, oh, no, yeah, oh, no, no. no. <laughs> levels. So. Sorry, yeah. Ryan Anset, obviously, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. nicest bloke I've ever met. Um, but he was saying that he's never seen dirtier tricks at a penalty. Yeah, oh yeah, then, they, then, like I said, they were then, really yeah. getting into his face. Like, I think Dunkey had to come over and Gilmore mm. and like basically a lot of the players were like, protecting yeah. Charles. Because they, the, the thing now is people always try and screw up the penalty spot, don't they? Like, yeah, like, in the they'll, they'll go over there. Oh, God, yeah. Keep, on a separate note. Yeah, let's talk about that, actually. Yeah. Mate, yeah. Mate, some of the light, there was like, light, I think it was the rugby, wasn't it? Rugby lines. Of course, yeah, of course, yeah, the World Cup, yeah. So yeah, clearly it had been used for rugby. Yeah. And like, the picture was in a state. It was looked dry. It looked like there was lines like where there shouldn't be. Like, yeah, it was. During the pen, though, like, because it was so loud. I don't know if you noticed when Jao Pedro stepping up, the referee's blown his whistle. No one could hear the whistle go. He's literally turning around to be like, have you blown the whistle yet? Because he couldn't even hear it. Like, is that loud? Yeah, that's, yeah. And he still had the composure to bury that. Yeah, like I said, ice in his veins. Yeah. And then Dunkey got hit by Yeah, he got projectile. Yeah, what was that projectile? Yeah, so they threw a projectile and he he fell. And he's got concussion, by the way. Yeah, as soon as it was full time, because the family staying in the hotel we're at at the moment, and they told us he's got concussion. Oh, really? Exclusive. He ran back on. 
And then as soon as full time whistle went, he like went went down, didn't he? And then I don't mm. know if you saw the um, physios went straight onto the pitch yeah. to go and get him. Yeah. Um, obviously, what was the projectile? I have no idea. Yeah, I haven't no seen idea. it. Lighter, probably. I haven't yeah. seen it. <laughs> yeah, probably something. something like that. The funniest yeah. part. Oh, he loves his story. He said about <laughs> when the when the obviously the Brighton players go up to the corner, they have to like they put like the nets up. The stewards yeah. bring up these like oh, makeshift yeah. nets to yeah. stop people throwing stuff. But obviously, so Marseille fans came to the Brighton end to take a, a Marseille player came to the Brighton uh, corner to take one. And obviously, the Brighton fans are yeah, there's a big net around anyway. it. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, they put and a second they put, net up. They put yeah, the net I up again. That. I was like, <laughs> we, we were watching <laughs> that. We were watching that, and double I was net. pointing down and going yeah. like. What's the need? What's the need? Yeah, so, just double protection. Mate. Well, yeah, suppose, yeah. You never be too safe, can you? Well, you no, well, clearly because you got hit by a projectile. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Maybe we need more netting. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Netting, There's yeah. not enough netting. Why are netting? Yeah. <laughs> There's not enough netting. I had to say when we did school the equaliser, quite a few were climbing up the netting. Yeah, yeah, so that, that was class. Did you see Dog Miss tweet? It was like whoever yeah. climbed up that 100 foot fence. Yeah, with like, yeah. 100 foot drop. Yeah, yeah, yeah like fair play. play. Yeah, yeah. That was yeah. There was some quite funny. It was. I think because. The Marseille ultra try and intimidate you. When you're in the away end, you just gotta, you just gotta just embrace go with it, it yeah. embrace yeah. it, and also you're quite safe. Let's yeah. be real, yeah. like there's not really much they can do at that point. No, maybe later on yeah. the yeah. night, or yeah. Whatever, yeah. But at that point, you're literally safe as anything. So yeah, yeah. you can give it as much yeah. as you want. Like there are, there are old men where you. we were. There were, <laughs> yeah, 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 there were old men like old giving heads, it yeah. to the giving it to the French boys. I was like, mate, that's unbelievable. This yeah. is the old guys going. I keep going. That's what it's all about. You just got me going like that, and still getting the French league just. Um, yeah, so that, yeah, that's pretty much the game summed well, we up. Missed the, we missed the first half. We've obviously been all over the shop in this game, yeah. but <laughs> everyone's just trying to remember what actually happened. Um, the VAR incident where oh, we course. thought they had a penalty. That was, Turns yeah. out we had a penalty so and then we didn't you, get given it. Did you find out what actually... Yeah, so it was a the, foul in the build-up, wasn't it? The referee kind of screwed up. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a handball. So the allegedly handball. Yeah, which we got, but then it was a foul. No, he didn't. Up. He didn't give it. So what happened oh, on the screen? It said VAR yeah. Brian penalty. Yeah. So it said. But then it said no. And then it said what happened was the player handled it, but it was it was very close range. But Van Heck fouled him. Yes. As he yeah, was it was there. a foul in the building. But then yeah. what the referee screwed up with was he was meant to just let the game play on because it gone out for a corner. Mm. Uh, but for the first time ever, they pulled it all the way back yeah. to there to have a free kick. Of course, kick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that he shouldn't have done that. But but, but, but then that goes back to Liverpool the whole. Fans Liverpool, Liverpool. I was about to say that's literally what yeah. happened because everyone's heard the audio by now. Sure, yeah. it's like yeah, we made a mistake. But he's like, well, stop the play. He's like, nah. Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> like, like, no, we can't do that. Yeah, we can't like, do just that. Just go, just, just stop it. It's literally been 20 seconds. Yeah, yeah. Just do it. Yeah. So, it's like, yeah, so I actually agree. I think it should, no matter what's happened in, mm. let's say, 30 seconds, as long as it's not been a goal or it's not been like, I don't know, yeah. Yeah. something of note or another penalty, for example, I think they should just stop yeah. the game and stop pull it back. So, but yeah, ridiculous. but it was really confusing in the stadium because yeah. we just saw VAR and we we're like, is it for Marseille? Is it for us? Because like, Marseille had just won a corner. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, so everybody thought other than no, but then Ben was like, nothing's happened in the corner bo- uh, in yeah. the penalty box. Yeah. So I was like, oh yeah, yeah. Also, so it must be for us. the Marseille player went down like a sack of potato, a sack of oh, shit. They, 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 they were going down. Van Heck yeah. barely touched him. Yeah. Oh, they were all going down a lot. Yeah, yeah. They, they were going down a lot. Well, especially at two one, one, they were trying to yeah. waste so like even Paul Lopez was taking like thirty seconds for a bloody goal kick and like yeah. it was like they're just killing the game, which is fair enough. I mean, if you're two one up, yeah, yeah. I mean, we and they're struggling, aren't they? Like, although I will say, I will say, like Martinez from Villa my the biggest time waste oh, I'm a joke I, re- well, I respect him a little bit for how, yeah, how when, you're a shit, when you're that good at yeah, shit so you've got respect yeah. Yeah. Um, Paul Lopez now takes that crown <laughs> yeah, he, he was up he there. was he was yeah. up there for like shit house and, and fair play to him he, actually, he, he pulled out some great saves he did he did I'd probably say that he's their man of the match and I, I was a fan of um Harriet as well I think yeah number eleven yeah he looked, he looked good as well but um, they weren't a bad team but yeah. I, I think they I thought Bamian was awful by the way yeah he got tracked I didn't even know he played he got tracked I didn't even like half time yeah he's he's Crack. They yeah. brought on that yeah. Matinho striker who we thought we were going to sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we you see, Trimble, he, he sort of threw Woods and Trimble, and then, oh my god, the donkey block. We've got to oh, talk about yeah, that. Yeah, that. That was, he made up made for, up he made up for his made earlier. Up for, yeah, right, yeah, that yeah. donkey block. I literally turned around to Pen and went, build him the statue. I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, build him yeah. the statue. That block was incredible. And then we went on to equalise just yeah. afterwards. So there you yeah, go. Great. There you, and go. We, we, you know, it's quite interesting. I might go out and buy a copy when I, before I go home. Uh, Le Quip. Uh, let it quit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. It has Lewis Dunk on the front cover making that block. Oh, so I, oh, really? like, I think I might have to go out and Mate, we'll go, we'll go out after yeah, this and yeah. go grab yeah, one. Yeah, that's close. Yeah. Um, um, and then, yeah, just quickly then, boys, just quick summary of uh, of the game and uh, then your yeah. thoughts. Uh, I think that's it. I think we've covered it all, yeah. really. I think um, it's just been like an amazing experience, yeah. this whole European football thing. Like, you
And look, if we, you know, and a point on the board more important. Yeah, and a lot of people give West Ham stick for uh, singing Champions of Europe after winning the Conference <laughs> League. I would do that till the day I die. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Um, but I think it's, uh, you know, this this experience of just being out here in another mm. country is, mm. is amazing. Yeah. It's just, it's football on, on like. Crack. Steroids, yeah, yeah. Or crack, yeah, yeah, yeah. Crack yeah, it's more, yeah, it's a, yeah, steroids, steroids is the better <laughs> one, yeah. yeah. Don't do cracks, <laughs> yeah. don't do steroids, don't, yeah, yeah, don't, yeah. don't do steroids. <laughs> um, no, I don't, and don't want to wink, um, <laughs> but uh, no, it That's is just, physique, yeah, 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 exactly. Um, but it has yeah. been, it has Incredible. been amazing, yeah, and um, also as well, uh, I wanted to say, um a point on the board, more importantly, yeah. just having that point, the especially first point, with, especially with the result with Ajax, happens both drawing. Yeah, yeah. Group yeah. still wide open. I was, yes. was going to be my final question. Yeah, predictions. I know it's early; it's only two games. But how do you see it panning out? I don't know. It's, it, it depends if our form picks up because, like, that first half was still really, really shaky. Yeah, we've got Liverpool, Man City. We, we, I think, what will be good is we've. This these these few weeks were going to be our most congested part Insane. of the season. Yeah, um, I think everybody said position. before the game like we need a point in Marseille. Mm. Yeah, we massively. Oh, we said before the game we were like, yeah. I'll, I think I'll rip your arm off. For yeah, a, I think a little bit of a blessing to be out of Carabao Cup because now we won't. Because yeah. this last week we've had what? I mean, I don't think there's ever there's ever been a run of fixtures in Brighton history where we've had. I think five European champions in a row. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Villa. Yeah, che- sorry, Chelsea, Villa. Liverpool. Marseille, oh, wow. Liverpool, yeah, City, Jesus, right. uh, Ajax. Yep. Jesus. So that's, I think the international break is coming at a good time for us. 100%. Yeah, 100%. 100%. To, to just 100%. Sort of go through. Try and regroup. And then finally, yeah. uh, chance before we wrap up, obviously, uh, stepping the end out for a month. Yeah. Disappointing. Um, disappointing. Yeah. Well, um, when, when Deserby said he's out for a long time, I was like, oh my God, this is terrible. But then you told me that it was only a month. Like, a, a yeah. Couple, a and couple you've got the, later. Do you know what? I think it'll be. And like you said, international break. Yeah, it'll well. be yeah. good for him because I think, you know, he came back from the international break apparently tired. Yeah, tired anyway. Mm. So it would be good. And I think may, maybe we should have brought in another lap back. I think oh, 100%. That's, but then Lamptey's doing yeah. so well there. Yeah. Yeah. But I really, we, I really we wish like, we got that Ginger Barco guy because apparently, yeah. Yeah. apparently he's unbelievable in there. Cup final but also as well we've got um, that Atom haven't we Atom oh from yeah Salzburg. he's a cent- more of a centre back oh was yeah. he I, oh, met, I met him on the train really yeah he's a really nice guy yeah nice, nice guy He was. It was. we were on the way back from Wolves nice Um, and I was chatting with two people I know from the football and I went oh he's a Brighton player over there and I said oh what's your name and he said uh, Noel and I was like <laughs> and I was like uh, and he said last name and he went Atom and I was like, oh, it's you. Yeah. I was it Salzburg or uh, uh, the Germ- Leipzig? I think it was Leipzig. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was and Leipzig, yeah. really huge, it, yeah. may I emphasise. Like, he is, he is a unit of a yeah. man. And uh, I, had a, I had a chat. I was so drunk, so I don't really know what I said. To <laughs> doesn't him. sound Apparently, like Apparently, yeah, I know. I think I said something to him about losing 7-1 to Huddersfield. <laughs> That age of the game. Was he online or something? No, no, no. no, no, no. I just, I just. Oh, oh, oh Brighton. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I mean. I keep I on bringing up all these like, games. I thought you meant it was like a performance of his. <laughs> like, yeah. Do you remember that game you lost seven one? You're I'm probably doing like, an anecdote about how far we've come. And yeah, you know, something like that. I was yeah. like, like, welcome to the club, and he, he was, he was really. <laughs> I don't know whether he could understand yeah. anything yeah. I would say, but he spoke good English. So. One, love it. one last thing: cool. if this is what it's like having what two, two and a half thousand, three thousand fans in one city for yeah. Brian. Mm. Uh, Ajax is going to oh, Amsterdam yeah. is going to be another level. We're, apparently, yeah. there's talks of eight k to ten k coming. Yeah, to Amsterdam. Well, we're all it's going to be, be there, aren't we? Yeah, I'm going yeah, to be there. I'm going to be there. Insane. Are you going to be there? I'm Excellent. Be there. I, I, I haven't got a ticket yet. But yeah, don't yeah. media to... tickets. This time. I don't think we can finesse it this time. Yeah, yeah. We'll try. Fifty euros just to yeah, yeah, we'll use try. our black at work. <laughs> yeah, we'll try. We'll try anyway. But and then finally, just quickly, I just wanted to. I thought that video of Belaba shushing the Marseille fans was incredible. So yeah, shout out to Belaba, what a guy. But chaps it's been an incredible time we're gonna go enjoy the rest of our time here mm-hmm. you're here till tomorrow yeah i've got a little bit of time but off off to early tomorrow morning so nice uh, we're here bath, till so, yeah. we're flying out tonight at seven yeah, like that. Yeah. so we're gonna enjoy the rest mm. of the sun for a couple of hours and have then a um, nice lunch have a nice lunch 100 yeah, nice yeah, yeah. yeah um but yeah it's been incredible yeah let's fancy some seafood i'd like to see some seafood yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chaps, thank you so much. And also, <clears throat> shout out to Maz coming dressed as the sofa. <laughs> oh my god! Well, I, just I, 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 I just suddenly realised that right at the end that Maz is dressed as the sofa. I'm actually really so, embarrassed. Um, it's really embarrassed because it's like a '90s decor. So yeah. I don't know what it says about my outfit, but um, I think I'm looking pretty good. Yeah, I think you're looking good. It's just I'm looking very small as well, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Me, me, two, me, two big. Yeah, guys. me and Maz Pinch. have sort of come dressed yeah. as Englishmen abroad. Yeah. You know, you know, the typical gentlemen. Yeah. People who are um, in vineyards. I, I, mean, I, 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 I used my co-on last night in a hospitality. So you, so. yeah. Yeah. you haven't got any clothes, have you? Yes. Um, right, chaps, 
Always a pleasure. And of course, everyone watching, listening, I hope you enjoyed the first in real life. It only podcast. took us 151 episodes. Yeah. 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 It only took us that long. Uh, and of course, Ryan will be back. Uh, well, yes. we, we, we're a bit of a rotating show now, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, 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 we're, yeah. we're all busy people. We'll get Adam in again. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll get Adam yeah, in. Yeah. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get Major on one day. That'd be, <laughs> yeah, that'd be interesting. Yeah, that'd be nice. But um, no, I hope you guys enjoyed the first in real life. And of course, keep um, smashing the likes. Scribe, all that good stuff, you know, all that social media bollocks that we love, love to talk about. Uh, no, generally, it does mean a lot, and it does help us a lot to grow the pod. Um, and of course, keep streaming and uh, listening on Spotify and Apple. Yeah, man. Apple, yeah. Oh, Apple Music, mate. Yeah, you're an Android bloke, aren't you? Oh, no, no, no. I'm a Spotify man. Oh, Spotify. No, I mean, you said you're an Android bloke. You're, you're you've an got Android. an Android. iPhone. iPhone. Uh, I think we've had it's this conversa- the, uh, conversation yeah, many yeah, times. Yeah, yeah. You look, you look like, an Android. You look like an Android. Yeah, don't, don't, don't. But guys, you give Android love from Marseille. Yeah. Peace. Love from Barcelona. Uh. How'd, how'd you say goodbye in French? Au revoir. Bonsoir. Oh, no, bonsoir. no, that's good day. Isn't that's it? Au, au revoir. Au revoir. Yes. Au revoir. Yeah. Au revoir. <laughs> au revoir. <laughs> <laughs>